Mike Parson says that he expects the state, this is Missouri, expects the state's social distancing orders to be extended. And this was like before they were officially extended. So he had his daily briefing and he said that he's going to close state parks because there were large gatherings of people in the Missouri parks. So they closed all the parks except for some of the walking trails. You're going to close an outside park? People are shopping at Walmart. You're going to close a park? They're legit like going to Target and buying tampons and milk. You're going to shut the damn park? What is, what is this? I don't get this. I don't get he's, it. He's doing stuff. People, you can still go outside, but don't. You know how fun it is to run around your yard? Woo! They're shutting the parks down. You going to put those little sawhorses in front of them? Nope, sorry, guys. The park's closed. The moose out front should have told you. Is that what we're doing? Golly. I mean, this is, that's stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. Well, people are getting together in the parks. And as opposed to that, so you'd think that by closing the parks, which is literally where the only places that people can really go to get any outside exercise at this point, um, that's going to, that's going to help. How's that going to work? I'm just, I, I don't understand that. And how is that? It's not going to stop people from gathering. If people want to be stupid and show Darwin awardism, they're going to do it. I just thought, I read that and I just went, what in the world? I just, I don't, shutting down the parks. Um, so he said, please stay home. You're not going to be able to keep, I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to, you're going to be lucky if you can keep people at home till the end of next month. Then it's going to start, you're all going to start having some trouble. People are going to start getting cranky pants. So let's, but closing the parks. I was talking to my husband the other day. And I said, you know, probably towards the end of this week, I'm, I may have to get, you know, um, what was it? I may have to pick up, not eggs. I may have to get some um, uh, whole milk. Because if I do have any milk, which I really don't, every now and then I have a keto cereal and I'll put like literally, it's a cup of keto cereal and like a splash of whole milk in it. It's amazing. And um, like we might have to get some whole milk. And my son, this is at the dinner table. My oldest was like, oh my gosh, can I come with you? And this is a kid who's never... I mean, uh, I think the reason, full honesty, that they hate the grocery stores is because when they were younger, as a part of homeschooling, <laughs> they were in charge of the grocery budget, and they had to plan the budget and do the math for all the meals. And so, as a result, they hate it. They do not like going to the store. And I'm, I'm like, great, I ruined my... But at least they know how to budget, and they know how to do that. They hate going to the store, but at least they know how to do it. I mean, he was so excited. He looked up, and he goes, can I go with you? And my youngest goes, are you just going for milk? And I'm like, I don't know if I can take buddies. I don't know if that's how that works. I mean, can you, I don't know. And the fact that I'm even thinking about it makes me mad because I'm so anti-authoritarian. So I think it and then I yell at myself mentally. I'll be like, can I even take a buddy? And then like the other part of my brain that's made of American flag and liberty screams at myself like, what do you mean? Can you take a buddy? You can do what you want. And that's. So I have, I have that little person sitting on my shoulder. I have like the little cautious Dana over here. And then I have the little person who's basically Joe Exotic sitting on my <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> and I'm like, so it's like a field trip to get out. But then when my son saw when I came in from going to the doctor and I was like, stay away from me. I have to decontaminate. I literally yelled this in my house. And I went through my whole thing. And my family was like, because Chris just takes off his shoes and washes his hands. Now he wears gloves. But he's like, I'm not wearing a face mask. I got a beard, you know? I mean, come on. I'm like, yeah, but you should wash it. So I told him he needs to wash his beard every time he comes if he has to go on an errand. Literally all it is is picking up medicine. He did, he did go to Home Depot. And that's when he did wear a mask. Because he, we had to get a new garbage disposal. Because ours cracked. And we couldn't use the sink because it would leak all into this. So we're like, ah! We could, I'm like, I got to be able, ah! So he did that. But he came in and I made him, we did the whole decontaminant thing. And my kids were like, this is insane. And I heard my son talking to one of his friends like, my mom makes us like Clorox shoes off. And he's like, I'm not leaving this house because like the process to just get back in it is ridiculous. <laughs> and then he goes, do you make, do you make Kane and Rachel do this too? And I'm like, well, you know, they just, 
I'm like, they're not you. And he's like, do you, no, no, no. Do they have to do this too? They have to wipe their shoes off the Clorox knot? I'm like, why well, wipe the floor off? Anyway, it was a big deal. Long story short, why the hell are you closing parks? <laughs>